Brother Reagan got stuff done, and he once said, if we lose freedom here, if we lose freedom here, there is no place to escape. This is the last stand on earth. Well, I think it's time we ask ourselves if we still know the freedoms that were intended for us by the founding fathers. Not too long ago, two friends of mine were talking to a Cuban refugee, a businessman who had escaped from Castro. And in the midst of his story, one of my friends turned to the other and said, we don't know how lucky we are. And the Cuban stopped and said, how lucky you are. I had some place to escape to. And in that sentence, he told us the entire story. If we lose freedom here, there's no place to escape to. This is the last stand on earth. And this idea that government is beholden to the people, that it has no other source of power except the sovereign people, is still the newest and the most unique idea in all the long history of man's relation to man. This is the issue of this election. Whether we believe in our capacity for self-government or whether we abandon the American Revolution and confess that a little intellectual elite in a far distant capital can plan our lives for us better than we can plan them ourselves. You and I are told increasingly we have to choose between a left or right. Well, I'd like to suggest there is no such thing as a left or right. There's only an up or down. Man's old, old age dream the ultimate in individual freedom consistent with law and order, or down to the ant heap of totalitarianism. And regardless of their sincerity, their humanitarian motives, those who would trade our freedom for security have embarked on this downward course. In the last few months, we've been called clowns and deplorables and ignorant and rednecks. Uh, we've been called the evil resistance. The New York Times thinks I'm the worst secretary of state of all time. Yeah. Yeah, since I last saw you, the Chinese have sanctioned me. The Iranians don't think so much of me either. But, but I, I'm proud of our fight, and I'm proud of our accomplishments, and that we have truly upended the status quo. We've resisted seeing our liberty and our freedoms slipping away. This is a noble, worthy fight, and we're in it. We, we fought hard. We fought for it hard on nearly every front, and we will always fight for it. I remember when they were calling us disruptors and that said they were against the establishment. We said, of course. Now, my job often took me overseas. We protected our freedom abroad. We kind of did it like Grandpa Earl did. We were honest, hardworking. We treated the world as it is, not as we wished it were. We weren't going to live in fantasy land. I will tell you, I walked out of some very quiet rooms in Europe. Uh, We, we had a restrained foreign policy, but when the time came, when the situation so required, we led. We came hard. We came heavy. I sent messages repeatedly to bad guys around the world that if you touch an American, you'll pay dearly. Now, now we, all know, we all know that strength, strength deters bad guys. Weakness begets war, and we want to stay out of wars. We did. I was with the president so many trips, and he would tell his counterparts across the world, he would say, look, I'm going to put America first as the president of the United States, and I expect you will put your country and your people first. And we'll work together and accomplish this for both of our countries. And we did that. You know, uh, uh, America first is right for America. It's right for each of us. America first secures our freedom. And the entire world benefits when America is fearless and bold and strong. We worked tirelessly with great success to deliver on our values, American values, that have made this such a special, unique nation. Look, this country was built on what our founders understood and then the Bill of Rights that came behind that Constitution. They built a nation recognizing that our rights come from our creator and not from any government. Our, uh, our union becomes... Our union becomes more perfect every time we defend our sovereignty and we defend our borders. And I'm proud that we are the most pro-life administration in the history of the United States of America. <laughs> President Reagan, a real pipe hitter. President Reagan got stuff done and he once said, if we lose freedom here, if we lose freedom here, there is no place to escape. This is the last stand on earth. I saw that. I saw that as your Secretary of State as I traveled all around the world. 
and I am confident that he was right. I am confident that the American star will shine across the heavens so long as we keep a proper understanding of our God-given rights at the center of who we are, and we keep up our quest to secure our freedom for our own people and for all of mankind. I'll be with you in the fight. God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. Thank you.